Leaning against the stair rail at the bottom of the stairs, Ayaka sighed after spending some time waiting for the others to arrive. Is this how guys feel when they have to wait for a woman? Ayaka giggled at the thought. She could remember hearing couples on a date where the guy would complain that the woman took too long, causing the guy to wait. The woman would then grumble about how the guy didn't understand the troubles that a woman had to go through. Well, I guess the reason why I'm first was that I contacted Mizuki after I'd been ready. Though Mizuki should have arrived by now, even if she had to contact two people. Ayaka thought to herself. Footsteps on the stairs made Ayaka look up to see Mizuki making her way down. I was wondering where you were. Ayaka laughed at her friend. Blushing at Ayaka's reaction, Mizuki said, Sorry about making you wait. I tried to reach Masio, but it just kept directing me to leave a message. Hearing Mizuki's explanation, Ayaka wondered, Maybe he already went to sleep. I get the feeling that he wouldn't have taken a bath. So, he was probably just ready to just jump into bed. I was able to reach Tanaka, who had been relaxing after bathing. Mizuki said, Thinking about their group for the night, Ayaka giggled. I guess it's going to be a girls night out? Mizuki giggled at Ayaka's comment, nodding her head in agreement. I was able to gain contact with Kawa. She seemed to be relaxing as well. I get the feeling that she might arrive after Tanaka shows up. It sounded like she'd get herself ready to look presentable. Ayaka said, thinking about the blonde woman. Reaching the bottom of the stairs and standing near Ayaka, Mizuki lightly touched her black hair. You look great in that outfit, Ayaka said, observing the matching top and skirt. Mizuki had an appearance similar to a daughter of a wealthy family, the kind that has been around for ages and owns numerous companies. The color of Mizuki's white cheeks slowly changed to pink. Thank you, Mizuki said. You look pretty too. Before Ayaka was able to say something, footsteps were heard. The two of them looked up to observe Tanaka making her way down. Compared to when they had first seen her, the former soldier had a more relaxed appearance. The hair was loosely baited into a ponytail, exposing her graceful neck. Ayaka's eyes opened slightly wider, noticing how Tanaka was wearing shorts that were much shorter than typically was appropriate in society. It revealed her long legs. In addition to the shorts, the tank top she wore was fairly loose. It clearly revealed that the older woman wasn't even wearing a bra. This was even more apparent as Tanaka's nipples could be seen. It feels nice to be in a more freeing outfit compared to when I was on the base. Tanaka grinned happily as if she had just gotten off of work and was going to enjoy drinking beer at home. When Tanaka looked at their outfits, Tanaka said, The two of you look cute in your dresses. You look very relaxed, Ayaka commented. Laughing, Tanaka replied, You can't imagine. Taking that bath just sucked out all the stress that had been building up. Reaching the bottom of the stairs and standing in front of Ayaka and Mizuki. Driving around trying to find this place, there was a constant feeling like I'd encountered those things. But being in this place and taking that bath, it's almost possible to forget about all of that having happened. <laughs>